Driving a vehicle with a hydrostatic drive is different from driving a mechanical system. Let's find out why by examining how a hydrostatic drive works. The diesel engine mechanically drives this hydraulic pump. The pump provides hydraulic flow to the hydraulic motor. Flow equals speed. Within the range allowed by the transmission gear you're in, more flow means more speed. Less flow means less speed. This variable displacement pump provides flow to the motor in order to control the speed of the motor. In fact, the variable displacement pump provides infinitely variable speed within the range allowed by your transmission gear. It also determines the direction of the vehicle, forward or reverse. The hydraulic motor is mechanically connected to a three or four speed mechanical transmission, which allows the operator to select a gear. As we already mentioned, the transmission gear you select determines the range of speed the vehicle can achieve. The transmission is mechanically connected to the differential and axle. This connection transfers power to the wheels. We've talked about the fact that flow equals speed. Flow is actually the volume of hydraulic fluid which passes a given point in the system in a certain period of time. We measure flow in gallons per minute. Now let's talk about pressure. Hydraulic pressure equals power. Higher pressure means more power. Lower pressure means less power. Of course, there's a relationship between flow and pressure. Pressure is created when there is resistance to the flow of hydraulic fluid. The more resistance to flow, the higher the pressure. If there's no resistance, there's flow, but no pressure. If resistance is too great, Flow stops, and so does the motor. The hydraulic pump's ability to overcome resistance and produce pressure determine the power of your system. Now let's see how flow and pressure are created in a mud hog rear wheel drive. The mud hog tees into the hydrostatic drive system between the pump and the motor. When you turn the Equitrack 2 control valve on with the electrical switch in your cab, you are turning on the mud hog system. This diverts some of the hydraulic fluid to the mud hog, which, of course, reduces flow to the main hydraulic drive motor. Lower flow means lower speed, so you'll notice the vehicle slows down slightly.